If you want to 20x your crypto portfolio by buying altcoins, that's definitely not an unrealistic goal. And in this video, I would like to show you how I am planning on doing this. So with that being said, like the video, welcome to the FOMO factory, subscribe to the channel, now you're at it and let's get right into it. So I am looking at this chart right now. This chart is the total three. This is um, everything in crypto besides Bitcoin and Ethereum. So these are altcoins and stables. Now, what I am looking at is, um, let me first tell you what I think people are doing wrong. Um, and it sounds very negative, but it's very easy in crypto to do something slightly wrong and it can completely uh, change the way how it's going to play out for you. People look at the altcoin market and be like, let's buy the dip all the time. And so far, buying the dip has gotten you nowhere, right? And I'm talking about investing. I'm not talking about trading. If you want to trade, you could have bought this dip, sold here, buy this dip, sold here. Overall, the trend is still down, right? It's making lower highs. So the altcoin market is still going down. Now, people sometimes, they look at altcoins um, I happen to have Illuvium on this chart, but it pick a random altcoin, doesn't matter, right? But they happen to look at an altcoin and it's an altcoin that they believe in, that they think is going to do very well. And if they want to make a 20x, they look at the price and they'd be like, okay, if it has to go up 20x, where do we need to go? Well, that's 1900%. Then Illuvium has to get to a thousand dollars. Is that realistic? thousand dollars compared to the almost two thousand dollars where it came from it only has to go twice as high as the previous uh twice as low as the previous all-time high right and then it's done easy 20x uh, a lot of projects don't see their previous all-time highs again why hype takes off there will be better projects there's more projects out there in the crypto space so the money in crypto has to be divided between all these projects so one single project doesn't take as much money as the uh, as, as it did before as there's more competition also tokenomics are a matter right here there were way less tokens in circulation than there are right here so the actual all-time high when it comes to market cap might be sitting here instead of here right so you don't want to necessarily look at the old all-time high and then calculate how many exits you can do. People focus on the exit too much, right? What you want to do is look at the entry, which is at least as important, right? It's basic crypto, basically, right? So what I look at is, for example, the total three right now, so the altcoin market. And um, as it's still going down, it's safe to say that it's, you know, will be lower than where it is today, right? I mean, that that's like, yeah, we I think we all understand that. So what people um, did in the last cycle, for example, is um, they may have bought here, right? And at the end of the day, they made a maybe 17x with good altcoins, the altcoins that survived. However, this was August 2019. See where we are? If you know about the four year cycle, then you know that it's you know now August 2023. And one thing that I find very interesting is this. If we look at coin market cap history and we go back to August 2019, and you look just at the top 100, don't you see a lot of, I don't know if you were back around then, but don't you see a lot of altcoins that you don't really remember anymore or that you do not know at all? A, a you care, right? Digibyte, I, I, I lost some money on Digibyte, but it's not nearly where it is right, where it was back then, right? But carrot gold coin, you remember Bytecoin, but Mona coin, right? Mixin, these were the top coins. These were the top coins, right? If you look at that, right? That's where Axie is right now, where Theta is right now, Immutable X, Phantom. We all know these coins. Those were these, right? All these coins in this part in August 2023, that was August 2019. So the same part of the cycle. Still in that phase of the cycle, a lot of altcoins die or at least go down a lot and don't really come back. 
So that's the first thing. That's reason number one, by the way, why you do not really want to buy the dip, apart from that, you know, you lose your money slowly over time. Um, but in this stage of the market where the S&P is now a little correcting, Bitcoin is going down a little bit, Bitcoin should go down at the rest of the year, basically. Altcoins basically have no liquidity at all. No liquidity is going into Bitcoin. They slowly go down. We'll see where it ends. But even if they, you know, if you feel like, oh, it's crashing hard, I get a good entry. Who says it's going to survive in the first place? So therefore you want to wait with buying altcoins, right? Unless you talk about an Ethereum, which is pretty likely to survive, right? Or a BNB. But even with that, you don't, you don't know. You don't know, right? No altcoin is 100% guaranteed. Um, but even then, right? What did we do last cycle? We went down, we found a bottom, we had a little bounce, right? We had quite a big bounce right here, but yeah. Overall, if we zoom out, you know, it's not that, yeah, me. Overall, it was basically sideways, right? If you zoom out far enough. Well, we went up and we went down and we found there was technically a lower low, right? Uh, we had the low in December, 2018. One and a half years later, we found the lower low. So we had our low in December 2022. So still in, 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 in March 2024, we can see a lower low or double bottom or slightly higher low, whatever. But what I, what I seem to notice right now is what's pretty comparable is we found the bottom, we went up, we go down a little bit, we go up and we go down further. What do we do right now? Find the bottom, we go up, find a new bottom, go up a little bit, but overall the trend is still down. So, the people that bought, for example, here, right, bought at the top or where we are right now, let's say, right? So halfway, give or take, right? They made like a 17x, okay? But if you are more patient, this little difference is not that little because if you buy here, you would have made a 40x, right? That's, of course, a huge difference. Now, I will never say that you should try to time the bottom because you can't. But that doesn't mean that you have to just buy every dip in the hopes that you finally bought the bottom somewhere. There are a lot of dips, as you can see, and there's just one bottom. How big is the chance that you will buy the bottom? Don't do that. But overall, if you slowly you know accumulate the bottom area so you don't buy this but you also don't buy this right here let's say you buy the middle give or take that's your average entry you still would have made a 28x compared to where we are right now where we have bottom we go up again and then we are a little on our way down again so bottom up again and we are a little on the way down again that's here let's say we made a 15x it's still basically twice as much. So <clears throat> if, you, if you want to make a 20x with crypto, yeah, you can buy uh, where we are right now. And if we make a 10x, if we make a 10x, great. If you want to make a 20x, yeah, you can hope that it goes twice as high, but you can also hope that it goes twice as low before you buy. The lower it goes, the higher the potential there is, right? And that's very cool about crypto as well, of course, because the altcoin market already has no liquidity, basically, right? So what you can do is, you know, buy very low and altcoins can really pump with like 8x in a week, right? The first 10x that you can make is maybe playing even where people are buying right now. It's not 8x, but, you know, if you have a good entry, let's say Illuvium, right, for example. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Pick a random altcoin, but just as an example, people that buy right now have to get to five hundred dollars to make a ten x, right? But if you wait and slowly dollar cost the, the the bottom area, right? And again, not saying try to time the bottom, but the market looks like this: we have an accumulation phase, upwards trend, distribution phase, downwards trend, and it starts over. Yeah, people buy a lot dips, right? They, they, it's not a normal sentence, but people buy the dips a lot. They buy the downwards trend. 
Like I said, you don't even know if a project is going to survive in that place. And it's also still going down, right? So why? Wait for the accumulation phase and buy that complete range, right? Once you do that, maybe that's here. Maybe it's lower, maybe it's higher. I don't know, but let's say it's here, right? You can go all the way to the same place as where people bought it right now. They made a 10x, you made a 17x, but you have the same exit point. Uh, people are so freaking focused in crypto on exit points. Where could the price go? What's, what could the all-time high be? Why do you ask that question? Why don't you focus on buying low, right? You're so focused on the highest point because you bought high, right? Admit it. You did that. And therefore, you want the price to go very high. Yeah, newsflash. A lot of projects won't go back to their all-time high. Most won't. Most won't. So either you don't make any gains at all because the project is going to die, or you have to ride half of a bull market to play even first, and then maybe you end up in a little profit. Right? And you could say, one tip, really, this is so important. You could say now I have Alluvium as an uh, example, right? You say like, oh, well, by the accumulation phase, this is the accumulation phase. It's going sideways. No, you should look at more charts. What does the Alluvium Bitcoin chart do? You tell me. Alluvium had such a pump. Everybody was lyrical about Alluvium. Oh, Alluvium going to the moon. I don't know, man. A couple of months ago, it had a pump against Bitcoin of 100% compared to the pump that we had right now of... 40% and it still went way lower, way lower, right? Then how come that Illuvium USDT is not going lower? Well, it's simply because Bitcoin is still high. Bitcoin went from 15 to 30K. That's the only reason that altcoins are not completely crashing right now because on the Bitcoin pair, they are already way lower. So if you have bought Bitcoin, like I said, you can now buy altcoins crazy cheap, of course, but with your Bitcoin. But you have to now think like, okay, so altcoins and it's just Illuvium, right? This is my gaming watch list right here. We can look at Falcon Forged, right? making new lows against Bitcoin. We can look at uh, Gala, one of the better plays, right? New lows against Bitcoin. We can look at Ultra, new lows, right? This since the bear market, new lows against Bitcoin. We can look at whatever, right? And also if we don't look at those uh, and, and we look at Cardano, new lows against Bitcoin. Uh, Algorand, I don't even know if I have that chart right here. Well, doesn't matter. Arweave, new lows against Bitcoin. Phantom, new lows, everything. Well, not everything. There are exceptions, but, you know, try to pick those. Not doable, right? So many coins are making new lows against Bitcoin. So that you know now, okay? Altcoins are getting wrecked. And that's what you can see on this chart very clearly. Uh, that's the total three that I've just showed you on its Bitcoin chart, right, basically. So that's not Gala Bitcoin, but that's any altcoin Bitcoin, right? If you look at that chart, you'll see that the crash started in November last year, while the bear market started in November the year before that, right? But that's where altcoins on the Bitcoin pair were holding up. On the dollar pair, they were still going down. Yeah, because Bitcoin went down, right? Now altcoins on the Bitcoin pair finally crashed 50% already. In my opinion, there's another 50% to go, but that's for another time. But 50% already. However, the dollar charts of these altcoins, yeah, some, some are making low lows, some not, some are, most are making like give or take double bottoms. So therefore, you know that, okay, if Bitcoin now goes down, altcoins are getting completely washed out, completely. Bitcoin has to go down with $1,000 and altcoins will see new lows, most of them. So then you want to look at Bitcoin. So if you are bullish on altcoins, you are basically saying Bitcoin is not going down. That's what it is, right? Okay, well, let's take a look at the cycles. Pre-halving year, a year before the halving, blue line is the halving. What does Bitcoin always do so far? Half of the year it goes up, 
other half of the year it goes down. Half of the year it goes up, other half of the year it goes down. When does it start, by the way? Always around August, coincidentally. What do we do right now? Half of the year it goes up, welcome in August. What do we see right now? Finally, some red candles right here, which we also saw over here and here before it pumped. So yeah, we could have another pump, but it doesn't mean that the rest of the year we will end up in red. Right? Bitcoin basically only had green months this year, year so far. There's no year in crypto where Bitcoin only had green months. None. Right? I can show you, um, but that's just what it is. Right, so when, if you if you believe in the four year cycle, then you don't buy altcoins basically. Because if you believe in the four year cycle, you know that Bitcoin is going down. If you know that Bitcoin is going down, you know that altcoins are going down. Right? If you don't believe that Bitcoin is going down or you don't believe in the four year cycle, then take a look at this. January, green, 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 one red, green. July, little red, August, we are in the middle of it. Overall, pretty green. Right? And the red numbers that we do have are basically nothing. Well, in 2019, what did we have? Most green at the beginning of the year, right? But then what happened? A lot of red. It's very much uh, divided. Half green, half red, basically. So, therefore, I think that Bitcoin will go down. And you can say, yeah, but ETF, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We have good news, we have bad news. Narrative follows the price, right? The price chart does something. And what's going to happen that makes the price do that, we'll find out, right? The Netherlands is now in a recession. Once the US is into a recession, that could be a good narrative. The ETF is not even there yet. ETF is likely to be approved around April 2024 of BlackRock. When's that? Exactly when the Bitcoin halving is taking place. And what always happens after the Bitcoin halving, it goes up. Not because of the Bitcoin halving, there's always a narrative. This time it could be the ETF. Perfect timing. Right? It's all... It, these, these cycles are so... I can literally copy this and paste it over here and it look identical. And as long as it looks that identical, there's no reason for me to believe that, well, from today, it's going to be totally different. If it is going to be different, then what's causing it? And why now? And what, what happened? What, what has so completely changed? Doesn't make sense, right? And if it's not going to be different, well, last cycle altcoins got completely fucking wrecked. Right? Completely wrecked. Total three, also from August, we had that bump. And what happened after the pump? It went down another 72%. Another thesis for Bitcoin, by the way, is from when we had the pump in July, August, until the low, we went down another 50%. Last cycle, when we had the pump from July, August, we went down another 70%. Now, Bitcoin, we had to pump from July, August. So far, we are down 7%. Doesn't seem really much on average to me. Even if we just go down 40%, will be the best case scenario so far. That would put Bitcoin at 19K. And that would be the best move so far for Bitcoin. I must admit, Bitcoin is super strong. We had COVID pandemic, uh, well, that's the same, but war, recession coming up, inflation, bankruptcy, scams in crypto, so much. And it's Bitcoin's best bear market uh, price-wise so far. So I don't expect this drawdown to be that hard. But also the pump wasn't that hard, right? Here, we had a hard dra drawdown. But yeah, that's also because we had a 320% pump, right? This pump right here was 100 so yeah, of course, I don't think we're going down that hard. And I don't think we're going to see new lows for Bitcoin. That also will be very exceptional. Um, but it doesn't mean we cannot go down to 24, 25 maybe, right? Easy, easy. I will be surprised. I will literally be surprised if we don't see that this year. Mark my words. 
And I'm not saying this is going to happen. I don't know. Crypto does whatever the fuck you don't think is going to happen. But I see too many people saying now also like, oh, no, but Bitcoin is going up. It's a bull market again. Oh, I don't really see a bull market. All I see is the same move that we had right here and then go down again. If you can already call this a bull market, yeah, then it's a bull market. I call this the bull market, right? I call this the bull market, not this sideways here in between. Because overall what happened, we went down, we went up, we went down. At the end of the day, we ended up at the same level in March 2020 as where we were in December 2018. Right, so that's March 2024. We can end up at the same level as uh, December 2022, which is 17k. Um, but so far, yeah, it's now much about Bitcoin. But again, you know, altcoins follow Bitcoin, right? And Bitcoin follows the S&P, by the way. Well, if I look at this chart, it doesn't look that bullish to me, right? We went on a run, and now we're finally cooling down. Um, where the S&P went down 0.7%, Bitcoin went down 1 point something percent, and altcoins went down 3.5%. Right. Uh, if I look at the S&P, yeah, could it go down at least another 8, which is more than 20% for altcoins? Mm, easy. Um, so that's if Bitcoin goes down. Then what if Bitcoin goes up? Glad you asked. Then we can take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. Because you also see that every time now Bitcoin goes up, the Bitcoin dominance also goes up. The Bitcoin, Bitcoin and the Bitcoin dominance are pretty correlated, especially on their way up. So <clears throat> if you do want to step on the bear, uh, bullish side and you say, no, I don't believe in the cycles or this time is different or whatever, the, whatever you might think. And Bitcoin is going up. Okay. So the Bitcoin dominance also goes up. Hmm. If the Bitcoin dominance goes up, then altcoins are going down on their Bitcoin pair, right? So the total three on its Bitcoin pair goes down, right? It goes down here or wherever. So altcoins might, might hold up in dollar value if Bitcoin really runs then altcoins might not go down. But they go down hard on their Bitcoin pair. So still, then, still, why don't you just buy Bitcoin? In, I'm, I'm not a Bitcoin maxi, believe me. I don't have any intentions to hold Bitcoin uh, as my biggest bag in the bull market. But you have to adjust to what type of market you're in. If you're in a bear market, don't be in anything. If you're in the sideways market, whatever the hell we call it right now, be in Bitcoin. If we're in a bull market, be in good altcoins. It's simple. Shift your money, adjust to the market. Right? With all this information, what reason do you have to buy altcoins? Because there are some altcoins that are exceptional. Casper, uh, Nakamoto Games. Name 50. You have to look very hard. Right? And then consider that there are hundreds of thousands of altcoins in total. Yeah. That's finding a needle in a haystack. You don't, now that Casper had that run, for example, yeah, we can look at that in hindsight and be like, oh, wish I bought that. Some people did. Congratulations. But you don't know that upfront that that's going to happen. You just look at the overall market and it's showing, hey, you want to buy altcoins? You're stupid. So why would you try to chase these exceptions, right? Because if you buy one, you probably are buying more. And even if one rewards you, then the rest is even going down. So you don't even make money anyway. Or you put all your eggs in that one basket. And then you're risking a lot of money for a lot of reward. But, you know, the winning chances are playing like roulette. Even less. Um, so... <sighs> The only thing that you can use, I think, as an argument to say that altcoins will go up is to say that Bitcoin will, will go up. So that's already against the complete cycle and everything that we just discussed. While the Bitcoin dominance is going down. Which is also basically going against the cycle and every form of TA out there, right? Because the Bitcoin dominance was ranging, 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 and it had to break out. You can have a retest and bounce, but usually after such a long range, you don't fall back right in it and just keep on ranging. That's just not how it works. 
here as well. Ranging shorter time broke out, found the resistance area as support, and we found our next leg up. But that's the only thing, unless I forget something, leave it in the comments and I can discuss that maybe in the next video. But that's the only thing that I see for now that can show you like, hey, altcoins are a good buy right now. Right? If the market now goes up against, you know, any odds and, and changes the complete cycle, then it it's because Bitcoin is going up, right? Altcoins don't go on the separate run in this cycle. It's not that then Bitcoin has to stay flat or something and the, uh, the dominance has to go there. Like how? With all these VC money, NFT money, pre-sales, IDO money, we didn't even manage to take this low out in 2018. So how the hell are we going to do that right now <laughs> in the deepest of a bear market, right? Yeah, then you have to let a new money, uh, have to have a lot of new money coming into crypto. Okay, maybe that's a fair argument. So new money coming into crypto, right? I mean, the current liquidity is not working for us. We know that, you know, it's from shitcoin A to shitcoin B eventually back into Bitcoin. So where's the new money? Hmm. Let's take a look at new people coming in. That's a red line, the social risk. Oh no, that's not going up, that's going down. People are leaving crypto, so there's no new money coming into crypto as well. If you just look at some charts, it's just, can you just admit to yourself like, okay, maybe I'm just not so right about buying altcoins right now. But some people, they, uh, maybe you, I don't know, they look at an individual altcoin chart, I don't know, AVEX or something like that, and they'd be like, hey, bottom area, let's buy. No. Yes, AVEX Bitcoin, bottom area, where is it? I can't see it. Right? And all the charts that we just discussed. So, again, and if you think that I'm bearish, you don't get the point. I'm super bullish on altcoins. Most of them. Not this kind of crap right here, but most of them, right? Super bullish. Therefore, I want to have as many altcoins as I can. And how do you do that? Well, either by being very rich or get a very low entry. And therefore, I'm looking at these charts and be like, wow. The charts show me that altcoins are, you know, not doing so well. So, yeah, maybe I should wait and get a higher and uh, get a better entry. So yeah, I've been saying for such a long time, like, hey guys, be careful with altcoins. And I didn't buy a lot yet. And when I look at charts like, I don't know, Cardano, whatever, whatever chart I look at, right? And again, there are always exceptions, but whatever chart I look like, look at. I, I can draw lines like I, I, I'm Picasso, Rembrandt, uh, whatever, but it's all making lower highs and everything is low. And I can't help but wonder how bad is the altcoin market going to get? It's already getting wrecked on its own, right? Well, what, happened, what would happen if Bitcoin now goes down? And from a TA perspective, it's very simple. Bitcoin has been going up for the entire year, right? And this was a perfect trend line. One, two, three touches, trend. It broke. Right? It broke. So only from that trend line, it already broke. And I said in a couple of videos ago, like it might hover around here for a while because now we have the bull market support band as uh, support and we have this whole red, you know, area as resistance. So it might do this for a while. I think it's going to break down the bull market support band, right? And that's the last support for Bitcoin. You know, yeah, then you can, of course, draw these horizontals here at 24.3 and here at around 21 or 22 and 20 or something. But I don't know. It's not looking good. And in the meantime, anytime, anytime um, the altcoin market does something like this or, 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 or this or this, I get these comments like, oh, you're stupid. At the end of the day, this is where we end up, right? So what am I waiting for? Well, I'm waiting for a clear bottom range, an area, not a bottom, hear me out, a bottom range, right? Again, where an altcoin stops doing this and starts doing this. I don't need to buy here. I can buy here because here I have the risk that it still does this. Here I have way less risk that it does that. But people rather buy here for some reason. And that's your emotion. 
if you want to make a 20x with crypto which is super doable super realistic without going into these crazy stupid meme casino type of scam game coins or or, or ponzi coins that you can stake for more Fancy coins like like this piece of trash or 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 cake with no utility basically, which also shows in the price or or Moonbeam with no revenue and no fees and only going down or or games or or crypto or coins that just slowly die over time because it's just not really uh, having a use case anymore or something better is there. I don't know, man. Where was I going with this? I'd rather wait for a bottom range and therefore also look at our bitcoin pairs right like cardano bitcoin was founding a, finding a clear bottom range over here right you could have bought here confirmed lower a uh, higher low in december 2020 right if you look at december 2020 on its dollar pair um, which was here right you still, you bought at 15 cents. Guess what, how much you made? 20x. Right. And you even bought 10 times from the bottom. You still made it 20x. Right, you could have made it 200x out of it. For sure, definitely. But the problem is that you then just blindly buying all these dips in the hope that you bought the dip. Finally, you made a purchase that did it all for you. But overall, if your average is laying here, you still have a fucked up entry, right? Plus the risk that this altcoin won't survive. Here you don't have that risk anymore. Well, you always have that risk, but here the risk is significantly lower. Uh, yeah, I want to leave it here, guys. I think this is so super important because there is so much money to be made in this beautiful market. Um, but it's also very easy to lose money. And people are now just focused on like this type of the crypto market right now where we are in um ignore all the stories about people made 100x out of altcoin shitcoin a b or c right that's not what happens on average right I've, i just showed you any single chart it's all going down it's all going down right your focus should be not losing money and prepare for the time where it's actually time to make money if you had a thousand dollars it's easy waste of money it's easy waste of money, right? If it, I don't know, last last thing, if you Illuvium, for example, people bought Illuvium all over the place, right? Thousand dollars you bought here. How much do you have right now? Hundred, right? So now what you're gonna do? You have to go back here again to play even, and then if Illuvium even gets higher, you make a little profit. If you didn't do shit, you now still have a thousand dollars, and if it then goes there. You don't play even you have 10k and then if it goes above then everything is even extra profit <sighs> but yeah fomo your feelings your feelings fuck your feelings it's about your money stop your feelings all right um yeah i'm leaving it here shout out to the patreon owners. these guys get it they get so much exclusive content they, they i'll guide them through the complete market how i do it my portfolio updates um, uh, you know, unreleased exclusive videos, personal consulting, trading courses, uh, moonshot early, low cap moonshot calls, NFT calls, podcasts. So if you're interested in really investing in yourself and going full time crypto, making a passive steady income with crypto and own this, then check out the Patreon because if you can in the bear market, then the bull is going to be a hell of a ride for you. So guys, please like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification and I'll see you soon.